In this video, I want to show you how to use analytics and give you a basic overview of the features that analytics provides to you to help you analyze your rowing technique with data recorded with the Rowing in Motion app. In analytics on the left hand side, we have the three bars at the top here that will unfold the menu from the side. We'll choose the log files view, which allows you to view all the log files that you have recorded and uploaded to analytics. In there you can make a selection by clicking one of the log files and you can select multiple log files at once for example for deleting them or sharing them on Facebook or assigning them to an organization. So when we select a single log file we have additional button here on the right hand side that allows you to go to the analysis view for that log file. The analysis view is comprised of a few summary statistics at the top, so that will show you the total distance, duration, strokes and average speed here. And then we have an overview graph that shows speed and stroke rate for the whole exercise. So that's the way you probably spend most of your time on working with, because that allows you to focus on analyzing certain sections of your rowing exercise. In here we can see the um, speed over time and stroke rate over time. So we see, for example, here the boat was probably at rest um, and then we have a couple of um, intensive strokes where you ramp up the stroke rate here and over here. And that's where we want to focus on for analyzing this tutorial. So to narrow the selection down in the graph and basically zoom into it, you have two options. You can either choose one of the predefined um, views over here, so that, for example, take it to five minutes, or you can use the bar at the bottom here to change the selection uh, of available data in the graph here. You can drag around this um, navigator series at the bottom here, and that'll allow you to, to focus on certain certain parts here. So in this case, we're going to narrow it down to that stroke rate ramp in here, and then make a selection in the graph. And what happens when you make a selection in the graph is that it will calculate an analysis based on that selection. And the analysis in this case is what we call a typical stroke analysis. So this typical stroke analysis samples all the strokes that are inside the selection and it calculates kind of an average of typical acceleration profile for that uh, selection. We'll make another selection just to compare the two at a higher stroke rate. So that's about stroke rate 24 or 20, oh sorry, about 30. Um, so we'll have the two analyses now in the graph at the bottom here. So if you want to compare those two, for example, to those three that were made here, you'll make another selection and another selection there. So in there we now have four different analyses in the view. We can remove them from this uh, view again by clicking the Remove button. And we can save all those analyses so that they'll be saved and open up again the next time you open the log file. The effect of saving those uh, log files is uh, those analyses is um, basically that they'll also show up in a different screen in analytics, which is the compare analysis view. So in the compare analysis view, you can make a selection um, based on the stroke rate of the typical stroke that was calculated in the previous section. And that will allow you to compare analysis across different log files. So for example, if you want to track how you developed um, over the last three months, you'll take a select, you'll, you'll use the analysis from three months ago and a saved analysis from today, maybe. Um, in this case, what we want to do is to compare different crews. So um, we have two different uh, four crews here. Um, at different stroke rates, and we'll just make a selection of two different crews and then display their, um, pro their typical stroke profiles on top of each other in this graph here. Um, as always, the uh, curves are color coded, so you know which is which basically. There's a couple of metrics calculated based on those typical stroke acceleration profiles. Um, at the bottom here, so you have the stroke rate that was reported on speed, check factor, stroke efficiency, catch efficiency, and catch duration. You can also put on notes next to each of those analyses to record additional details about it. So what we can see here when we compare these two crews um, is that the 
Um, purple curve shows a much higher belt acceleration early in the stroke and has a higher peak acceleration. So it's likely a faster belt. And if we look at the average speed calculated for the analysis here, we see that the um, purple belt or the purple curve indeed is related to a higher belt speed. Um, but that's just one of the analyses that I can kind of can make here. Um, another s important section of the stroke that we can focus on is um, what happens during the recovery or at the catch. So this is about this section. And what we can see is that the crew with the yellow curve starts much earlier to hit on the stretcher and slow down the boat. So it's very, very likely that that helps degrade their boat speed. So that's just a basic overview of how to work with log files analytics and I hope you enjoyed it.